We're gathered here today to witness the union of Ezekiel and Ireland. Welcome, family and friends. We're glad to have you with us. Today is the beginning of a remarkable journey for this couple. Drawing on their mutual admiration, respect, and trust, they are ready to embark on the next chapter of their lives. We celebrate the love and light evident in their relationship and wish them well on this joyous occasion. Marriage is an integral part of the human tradition. Let us remember as we stand here before the elements that vow these vows taken today hold great importance, just as they did for our ancestors. As individuals, we make the choice to enter into the union of marriage in order to share all aspects of ourselves with our soulmate. Today, this is true for Ezekiel and Ireland. In times past, it was believed that the human soul shared characteristics with all things divine. It is this belief which assigned virtues to the cardinal directions, east, south, west, and north. It is in this tradition that a blessing is offered in the support of the ceremony. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the east, communication of the heart, mind, and body, fresh beginnings with the rising of each sun, the knowledge of the growth found in the sharing of silences. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the South, warmth of hearth and home, the heat of the heart's passion, the light created by both to illuminate the darkest times. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the West, the deep commitments of the lake, the swift excitement of the river, the refreshing cleansing of the rain, the all-encompassing passion of the sea. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the north, firm foundation on which to build, fertility of the fields to enrich our lives, a stable home in which you may always return. Each of these blessings emphasizes those things that will help build a happy and successful union, yet they are only tools, tools which you must use together in order to create the, what you seek in your union. Under the folds of the element, together we take a moment to acknowledge the seriousness of this commitment being entered into today. With great joy, we also recognize the special bond shared by Ezekiel and Ireland. And before we proceed, I will recite the blessing of the hands by Reverend Daniel Harris. These are the hands that you hold of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours 
as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold, tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I will now invite the couple to share their vows with one another. Ezekiel and Ireland, the promises you make today are sacred. They are the groundwork from which your marriage will grow and blossom over time. Ezekiel, would you like to go first? Okay. I just want to say that you look absolutely beautiful. From the first moment I laid eyes on you, I was in love. At least I thought I was. Growing with you over the years, I learned how much I had no idea how amazing you are, how true our love is. I'm absolutely blessed to spend the rest of our lives growing old and raising our beautiful children together. Thank you for always being by my side, no matter what life throws at us. Help me shape me into the man that, and father that I am today. I promise to protect, love, and protect you and our babies for the rest of our lives. I love you, Ireland, more than words could ever describe. Ezekiel. First of all, you look so handsome in that suit. And I feel so blessed to be here in front of you today. When we first started our relationship five summers ago, I had no idea where life would take us, but I am so happy it led us here. Standing in one of our most favorite spots on earth in front of our beautiful family and closest friends, I vow to always love you in every mood, shape, and form to always choose you and our family and to never take our days together for granted. I promise to stand by you in the worst of times, to work to, through our problems as a team, communicate to the best of my ability and to remind myself that you can't read my mind. I promise I will watch you grow and age with admiration, respect your changes over time and to take care of myself so that I can be the wife you deserve and the mother our children need. I vow to be your ears when you can no longer hear and trust you to be my eyes when I can no longer see. I will hold your hand on our brightest days and hold your heart on our darkest. I will protect and nurture our babies and promise to always make sure they know what a great man their father is and how we love them more than life itself. I vow to love you fiercely and to never stop showing you my affection to always make sure you have a full belly, a happy heart, and a comfy bed to come home to. I love you today, tomorrow, and for the rest of my life. Ezekiel in Ireland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's time to join hands. Ezekiel, before your family and friends, do you take Ireland as your beloved wife to have and to hold through laughter and sadness, through challenges and successes, successes as long as you both shall live? I do. Ireland, before your family and friends, do you take Ezekiel as your beloved husband to have and to hold through laughter and in sadness, through challenges and successes, so long as you both shall live?
Ireland and Ezekiel have spoken the official words, and now it is time for the fasting of your hands that will seal your union on a spiritual level. This ritual is one of deep significance. Please interlace your hands. Taking care to breathe slowly and focus on the connection being created. Look deep into each other's eyes and remember all that you have experienced together, both the highs and the lows. Henceforth, you will be united in partnership, ready to support one another through both the joys and the sorrows. It is now time to fasten your hands together, a tradition that has spanned generations, and this act symbolizes a deep commitment to the union you share. Just as your hands are bound before us today, so too will your lives become. Just as the ribbon has been knotted, your spirits will forever be joined in unity from this moment forward. Let us acknowledge this special bond you share and may your relationship be blessed with joy and happiness. Wedding rings are a symbol of strength of bond between two soulmates. This bond is never broken and continue, continues into a perpetual circle, glowing with the warmth and eternal light of the two souls in perfect union. By wearing these rings, you will always be reminded of the connection you share and the vows you have made today. Are you ready to present your ring? Ezekiel. Please repeat after me. I, Ezekiel, present you Ireland. I, Ezekiel, present you Ireland. With this ring as a symbol of our everlasting love. With this ring as a symbol of our everlasting love. Let it never lose its luster. Let it never lose its luster. And just, for my, just as my love for you will never fade. Just as my love for you will never fade. Place the ring on her finger. Ireland, are you ready to present your ring to me? Please repeat after me. I, Ireland, present you Ezekiel. I, Ireland, present you Ezekiel. With this ring as a symbol of our everlasting love with this ring as a symbol of our everlasting love. Let it never lose its luster. Let it never lose its luster. Just as my love for you will never fade. Just as my love for you will never fade. You may place this ring. Ezekiel in Ireland, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Alaska, under the fold of the elements, it is my honor to pronounce you as husband and wife. Ezekiel, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Ezekiel and Ireland Damon. 